everybody. You know, this is, uh, you know, at this point, we've done this so many times. Don't need to go into who's who, what's what. Just know that I am the National Director of Veterans Outreach with Minorities for Medical Marijuana. I'd be remiss if I didn't first give a quick shout out to my wife, Dr. Lashana Bridgewater over there. Thank you, babe, for supporting me. And I'd be even more remiss if I did not explain who this person is to my right. This is Jossie Edwards, the New Jersey chapter president for Minorities for Medical Marijuana. Now, for years, I've been coming up here on this stage, on this stage uh, cussing up the storm, telling everybody exactly where we are today. So what does that mean? That means that at this point, now the real work starts. We got it legalized, but now the real work starts because now there's this whole new audience of people who don't know how the culture works. They don't know how we do. They don't realize that this culture is tribal. It's filled with chieftains and shamans and warriors and village elders. They don't know who we are and now we have to let them know. They also need to know that this tribe is not defined by city lines. This is regional. Our tribe might be small, but we are everywhere. And when it's time to get shit done, we get shit done. Now, for you taxpaying citizens, I'm the reason why you don't give a veteran the microphone. Because I don't have a problem with being uncomfortable. I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable. And if we're going to get some shit shook up, then we're going to have to start making other people uncomfortable. So it is important to us that we start now paying attention to who is going to be in those commissioner seats. Who is going to be the ones in that advocacy group, in those advocacy uh, seats? Is it going to be somebody like some one of us, a tribal member? If it's not, we, then we have to make sure that happens. And whatever goes down here in New York, trust me when I tell you, there's a ripple effect in New Jersey. And whatever happens in New Jersey, trust me, it's a ripple effect in New York. We know how this game works. We've been playing this game. I'm not going to stay up here any longer, but I just want to say RIP to Doug Green because I'm channeling my inner Doug Green. Shout out to Melissa Moore and, and oh, meet Dr. Adrian Adams, the New York chapter president of Minorities for Medical Marijuana. So if any of you need some help with getting some shit started, these the two you come find, and then you come get me. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>